can make my life complete. Here I'm um, doing my heavy set where I am putting weights on the floor so I really engage um, using my heels to push up instead of um, using my toes because when I use my toes it tends to kind of just m emphasis more on the knees. So I really make sure that when I um, am going a little bit heavier I'm actually using my the right muscle grooves but here I want to really focus on the glutes and bring it up and squeezing because um, sometimes after a couple of um, sets I get tired and that's when my body starts to just kind of just do whatever so here really focusing on pulling in with the um, pushing up with the glutes uh, with the heels so here I'm doing front squats um, making sure I'm keeping my chest up and squeezing um, at the top here I'm also making sure that I'm pushing up with my heels so um, in order to rem remember to push up with your heels, you gotta start off with a lighter weight before um, going any heavier. Just kind of have that mind and muscle connection there. Did about a set of 12 here. All right, after I finished my front squats, I went to do sumo deadlifts. Um, this is something I'm still trying to get used to doing. I'm used to doing this, um, just the standard deadlifts, um, the stiff leg, and the, where I bend my knees just a little bit. So here, I'm starting off light, uh, making sure when I bring it up, I'm squeezing in the glute area. Making sure when I come down, I drop my butt and pulling with my hamstrings and my glutes making sure I also open up my hips because my hips are really tight here as well. After I do like the heavier lifting, I try to do more isolation work. Uh, one of the feedbacks I got from the judges was to work on you know, single leg deadlifts, kickbacks, um, doing more isolation work for um, my glutes and my hamstrings, just for that tie-in. Um, here I'm doing kickbacks, making sure I'm squeezing at the top, keeping that back straight and core tight. So I'm supersetting with um, hip abductions, just really emphasizing in squeezing and feeling that burn. I really feel like when I do these standing up ones rather than the machine, it, I really do feel the difference rather than just have it seated. I feel like seated machines, sometimes I kind of you know, think about other things and I get too comfortable. So here I really make sure I put my hand on hips to kind of have that mind and muscle connection again. Just making sure that I know where I'm supposed to be feeling.
the hip thrust. Uh, I don't really like doing it with the bar just because I always feel like, I don't know, it's uncomfortable and I don't want to go get a mat and just put it on my hips and it's just too much work. So I'd rather use this machine here um, in replace of that. So bring it all the way up and squeeze. Kind of do like a two second hold there too. So bring it all the way up and squeeze. So I always like to make my veggies fresh. Um, I try to do them every day if I have the chance to. So here I'm doing it a little bit different just so I don't get used to it. Um, sometimes I'll grill the, I'll put the asparagus in the oven. And then now I'm just kind of using some green onions. I'm doing it on the pantry because I have to have two servings of asparagus. So I'll throw some green onions on there to kind of have a, a little bit more of a flavor. Then um, I put it in the pan. Fresh. Throw a lot in there. Let it heat for a little bit, and then I just let it um, kind of get a little bit brown, and then that's when I add the the rest of the asparagus in there. Oh, and also I added the garlic, minced garlic. I really enjoy prepping. I really enjoy um, just meal prepping my food. Um, there's times where I just order it from two easy meals, just the protein. Um, on days where I'm just I have low energy, I'm cranky, I just don't feel like cooking at all. But veggies, I know that that's something that I should be having um, during prep because I know it's important. A lot of fiber, making sure that my my organs and everything is all clean. Here, I'm just kind of sauteing it. seasoning. I added a little bit of soy sauce in there just to uh, add some more flavor. Gotta check the ingredients, of course. <laughs> a habit of mine. Um, add a little bit of pepper and then I think I added some onions too. All right, and here's the finished product. Nice, smells garlicky, and add it to my shrimp, which is my fourth meal of the day. Add some lime just to make it feel a little bit more fresh. And I accidentally got a seed in there. <laughs> there we go, meal four. So a lot of times people um, kind of ask me why I compete, um, why you know I put myself on such a strict diet if I love food so much um, I have such a passion about nutrition and, and fitness that I'm really excited to see how my body can change physically 
um, and I just found out during during doing preps that it also has gotten my mind stronger. So mentally, I'm more confident. Um, I'm more aware of my body. Um, just be having that mind and muscle connection. You know, when you work out, it's the same thing about when you you with your nutrition. So, like I said earlier about feeling lighter. Um, not I don't know if you guys are gonna understand, but I just feel less, you know, less, I don't know, how should I put this? So not per se bigger, but I just feel lighter, like I'm losing uh, either body fat or, or the water weight. Uh, I know I'm gaining strength because I'm just practicing more and uh, making sure that I'm squatting, making sure I'm doing the heavy lifting, and I just love all that. Just kind of just finding my own way of how my body reacts to certain workouts or, um, certain foods that work well with my body and I feel like being in tuned with your body and not only just to myself then I can kind of just teach other people like hey this really worked out for me maybe you can try this um, if it doesn't work remember everyone everybody has different body types so maybe um, it might work for somebody and might not so sometimes I'll read on Instagram like to help cravings um, drinking tea I feel like for me, drinking coffee really helps. Um, I never drink the whole thing, um, the whole cup of coffee, but just having like half a cup and a little bit of cinnamon on it really helps, you know, just kind of curb that sweet tooth for a little bit. Um, so, I don't know, these little tips I hope help. Um, I know I drink a lot of um, ice water with lemon in the morning. I really think that helps in just kind of feeling more refreshed and just getting my stomach my metabolism like waking up i really feel like that helps during the summer um during winter i definitely drink more uh green tea and stuff like that so um yep this concludes my vlog today i'm just checking in i really feel like this helps kind of just let myself um just be more open and just talk about how i'm feeling on prep so when i have a mental check-in um, not only just like a physical check-in with my coach, it really does help kind of just keep me on check. Alright guys, see ya at the next one!